Sharing with you all, winter diet plan for weight loss to help you lose 7 kgs in 7 days very easily. Winters are here and along with it, it brings lots and lots of options for fruits, vegetables and lots of nutrients and vitamins in each and every criteria. So this diet plan will help you lose weight along with all the benefits of nutrients from those items and at the same time give you good skin benefits and hair benefits as well and as well as strengthen your bones and at the same time increase your immune system very easily. Started with winter diet plan to help you lose 7 kgs in 7 days very easily. Starting with the early morning drink which will be ginger turmeric tea. Now always make sure to add this drink at least 4 to 5 days in a week with this diet plan. Gives you a good amount of anti-inflammatory properties and as well as great for your skin in each and every criteria. Here is a complete recipe of ginger turmeric tea. In a pan, I'm adding here approximately one and a half glasses of water. To this, I'm adding here haldi. Now this is fresh amba haldi or you can even call it green haldi, which is the purest form of haldi available in the market. All you have to do is simply grate it and use it. Now this fresh haldi is 100 times much much better than the powder hull that you get in the market. Along with that I am adding here ginger, very important for anti-inflammation and the same point I will be adding here 1 teaspoon of fennel seeds that is soft. Now why soft? It is great when it comes to your acidity levels and at the same point regulates the pH levels in your body. Let it simmer for approximately 2 minutes and your ginger turmeric tea is ready and now let's proceed with our second option of early morning drink which will be clove or long tea. And the recipe for my clove tea is yet again here. One glass of water, boil approximately one teaspoon of cloves. You can just boil it properly for at least four to five minutes till you see the color of the water changing. And this tea needs to be consumed early in the morning empty stomach. It gives you a good amount of bone boost and at the same time increases your immune health as well. Now let's proceed towards our breakfast options for which I'll be giving you two options. Now vegetarians should always consume eggs for their breakfast. You can have a good amount of veggie omelette prepared with three egg whites and in that omelette you can add lots and lots of vegetables like spinach, mushroom, corns, whatever is available with you fresh and seasonal. Add it to the veggie omelette and prepare it in a good volume. Second option for vegetarians is paneer sandwich. You can add up to 50 to 70 grams of paneer to this sandwich and make sure to add lots of cucumber, tomato, onion as well to the salad. Adding to a sandwich. This will help you to give you a good amount of protein for the breakfast itself to give you energy for the entire day. Now let's proceed towards our mid morning snack which is one cup of green tea along with that you can have one fruit any seasonally available. Green tea helps you gain all the antioxidant levels and as well as helps you reducing your belly fat as well. Now let's proceed towards our lunch and as usual 30 to 40 minutes before our lunch we'll have apple cider vinegar added to lukewarm water. Now why apple cider vinegar? Because it helps to prevent any kind of blood sugar spikes after having your lunch and at the same time boosts your metabolism for weight loss as well. So have this 30 to 40 minutes before your lunch and now let's proceed towards our lunch options. The first option for lunch is zucchini oats chila. Now the recipe for zucchini oats chila is here. To a mixing bowl, I'm adding here approximately 2 tablespoons of oats flour. Now this is gluten free oats flour. Along with this, I'm adding 1 tablespoon of basin that is gram flour. To this, I'll be adding grated ginger. Now this is grated zucchini that I have with me. I'll be adding approximately 2 cups of grated zucchini to this. Adding here some green chilies chop. Now to this I'll be adding all the spices, some salt, mango powder, haldi, that is turmeric and some jeera as well. You can add more spices according to your choice as well and I'll be adding some water here for the consistency. Just whisk it all well. Make sure there are no lumps in the batter and on a non-stick pan just warm the pan up and then I'll be adding some oil or desi ghee over it and then just put the batter in a round shape to make the perfect chilas. Make sure to cover it up so that the chila is cooked well. Just flip it over and let it cook for at least 2-3 minutes and your zucchini oats chilas are ready.
you can have two to three chilas for your lunch along with curd or mint chutney whatever you're comfortable with now let's proceed towards the second option for lunch which is brown rice pulao now the recipe for my brown rice pulao is here a spoon of olive oil to this i'll be adding one teaspoon of jeera and let it splutter for at least two minutes then i'll be adding Freshly chopped green chilies to this. Mix it all well. This I'll be adding one whole cup of broccoli. Now this is very fresh broccoli. Along with this I'll be adding bell peppers, red and yellow bell peppers chopped. Fresh red carrots, approximately one cup again. One cup of green peas. So here we have added all the green vegetables. And to this I'll be adding salt according to taste, black pepper powder and turmeric powder. Along with this I'm also adding coriander powder. Mix it all well. You can add the spices according to your own choice, whatever you feel like. And to this I'll be adding soaked brown rice. Make sure to cook the rice before for at least two minutes properly. And to this then I'm adding fresh coriander leaves for taste. They are amazing to give good flavor and to this I'm adding 3 cups of water. Mix it all well and, and let it cook for approximately 3 whistles. And once the whistles are over do not open it immediately. Let it cook in its own steam for approximately 2-3 minutes. And once done you can open it and you can see how well a brown rice pulao is ready. You'll be amazed to see how you can lose weight along with having your rice for lunch and not starving at all. Now let's proceed towards the third option for our lunch which will be bajra roti. Now bajra is very warm in nature and hence best for your winter season lunch options. So you can have one or two bajra rotis along with that any mixed vegetable prepared at home. Along with that you can have a good full bowl of curd and salad to give you good probiotics and fiber as well. Now let's proceed towards our mid evening snack which will be you can have a cup of tea or coffee as per your own preference but do not add any kind of sugar to it. If you're not comfortable with having tea or coffee then you can always have matcha tea. One cup of matcha tea is equal to 10 cups of green tea. The antioxidant level in this tea is amazing and you'll be amazed to see with the weight loss results as well. Along with that you can have 5 soaked almonds and 2 walnuts. Now let's proceed towards our dinner options for which I'll be giving you super amazing and at the same time very effective dinner options. First is chicken or egg soup for all the non-vegetarians out there. You can have chicken soup or egg soup but make sure to eliminate salt if possible and replace it with lemon juice, black pepper powder, also jeera powder, oregano chili flakes, Italian seasoning, whatever you want to add to it but always try to limit the salt added to the soup. You can add 150 grams of chicken to the soup or two eggs can be used but only whites. Now let's check out the option for dinner for weight loss for vegetarians. You can have boiled or baked sweet potato that is shakarkandi. Shakarkandi or sweet potato is very easily available in the market these days because of the season and it's very seasonally available. So you can have two to three baked or sweet potatoes or boiled potatoes. You can add lemon juice over it or some chaat masala for taste. Second option is oats and milk with fruits. All you have to do is add two tablespoons of oats in one glass of low fat milk or almond milk mix it well keep it aside for at least five to six minutes and then add fruits over it of your own choice and seasonally available you can add apple half a banana some nuts or seeds and enjoy it well now let's proceed towards our bedtime drink and this is the most important drink when it comes to your weight loss journey it helps you boost your metabolism and also to remove all the water retention or bloating of the entire day. First option is chamomile tea. It helps to relieve the stress of the entire day and promotes good sleep. You can have one cup of freshly brewed chamomile tea for your bedtime drink. Second option is you can have a ajwain or jeera water. Both these waters are amazing when it comes to your bedtime drink. You'll be amazed to see the result on the scale the next morning. In winters, always make sure to consume at least two to three liters of normal room temperature water or you can even just lukewarm the water when it comes to your winter season and have it sip by sip for the entire day. Please not skip this as it's one of the most important keys to your weight loss to stay hydrated. 